So we have a broken merge and we're gonna try to fix it. So here we go. We need to see what the variables are, the values of these variables are. One way to do it is debug mode. There's another way to do it, just print them out. Now, where should I print them? Well, if I print them up here, they're both gonna be zero. It's not very exciting. So I really wanna see each time through the for loop what they are. So let's go ahead I print out, I put a new line at the beginning, uh, and then we'll see the K value, I1 and I2. I also have the sum of I1 and I2, and the reason I parenthesize here is because I want to add the values together and then concatenate the, that sum to the string. So I wanna add the two integer values and then display it. I also put a blank, just a blank line down here at after the for loop. Let's go and run it. I changed the sizes to only do two, four, and six, because uh, I didn't have the problem with zero. So here we go. Here's the first one with the problem. This is the two, two, two. And you can see K zero, one, two. I was expecting to see K get up to three, and it didn't. I see that I1 never got incremented, but I2 did get incremented, uh, which is something different happened here, except it still, I was expecting K to go from zero to seven and it stopped at six. So it stopped when I2 was four. Okay, so let's get into what could be happening. So one thing, I don't typically use breaks and I don't recommend you use them either. And one thing I found out is if you have a break, it breaks you, it stops the for loop from running. And you can see that it highlights the for up here. So when it breaks, it actually stops this entire loop from running, which means that as soon as one index hits the max length, what I wanted it to do was pull from the other deck but what the code actually does is stop, and that's not good. So we're gonna take the brakes out. We could run it without the brakes, just see what happens, always fun. Uh, so we're gonna index out of bounds. So I went too far here. Okay. So these are kind of, you could almost consider these the base cases, but what I'm gonna do is put these more at the end of the for loop so I'm gonna nest some ifs and else's, and I wanna do it in a reasonable way. I wanna put these at the bottom. So let's go ahead, drop them down there for now. All right. I want to compare the two cards, but this only makes sense if both I1 and I2 are valid, meaning if they're not too big. So I'm gonna check that right here. So it's gonna be real similar to this, except I wanna see if I1 is less than the length of the first deck, then it's okay to check the I1, the card at position I1. And I have to do the same thing for two. So I checked if both indexes are not at the end. I don't know what the plural for, oh, indices, whatever. It's not English class. All right. So if our both indexes are not too big, then we can just do the regular compare, grab the smaller card and add it on. Here's where we're gonna use our first else. Now what's happening here, I'm gonna label it. One index is too big. So we already actually have checks for this. And here we have, that's too 
big. So if index one is too big, then we use index two. Uh, I probably want to put an else here, but let's not do that for now. Let's just run it like this and see what we get. So we don't have that break issue. All right, index out of bounds. So if you look, index one was two, that's too big. So it happened at line 80. And if you look, line 80 is right here. We used, on line 80, we're using index one. But if you look right here, index one had the value of two. So it was too big. The reason we did that, uh, we checked index two, which was not too big. And then we use index one. So I think what we want is an else right here. So this else is if one index is too big, we checked the first index. If the first index is too big, meaning it equals length, we operate on the second index. Else, which means this wasn't happening, then we just do index one. Let's go run that. All right. Just because you didn't get an exception doesn't mean it works. It just means it didn't fail necessarily. Uh, we do need to go and look carefully. I'm going to hide that print. Let's go look. Five ace. So the five should go first. Then the ace is smaller than the 10. Then it goes 10 jack. So it worked on the 2, 2. All right. The smallest one first is a 7. Then it would be comparing the king and the 9. And the 9 is smaller, so you see it there. Uh, now it gets a little more tedious to keep checking. But the 10 is lower than the king, so the 10 goes next. Then the 3 is lower than that king, so the 3 goes next. The queen's lower than the king. Queen goes next. Then... Finally processes king, seven, king, and you see that happen right there. I'll run it one more, I'll run it a few more times. All right, what I'm concerned about is maybe I screwed up the zero case or the one case. So I'm just gonna use the other numbers here, give it a run. All right, I also modify my print statement the deck print statement to print the size of the deck because I'm not good at counting. I can count to zero and one, but when it gets a little longer. All right, I feel pretty good about the merge now. Like for example, I'm not counting to 20. Uh, okay, it looks pretty good. So we're ready to move on.